Hello everybody. I'm sorry I can't join you today, but I want to pass an important message to you about the European Commission's digital agenda for Europe. The Commission has launched this action plan, but it is really your action plan. It is based on wide public input and we need you to help make it happen. We cannot deliver the greater growth, the deeper democracy and the cultural connections on offer from the digital world without your active support. Did you, by the way, know that ICT's investments are responsible for more than 50% of Europe's productivity growth? Did you know that 30% of Europeans have never gone online before? We have designed this digital agenda to bridge the gap between those two facts and many more like them. This needs to be a broad movement for digital action. A movement where we work together to remove the obstacles to exploiting the potential of ICTs. A movement that invests in networks and platforms that can deliver the content and services that Europeans deserve. I'm talking about creating a real digital single market. New ultra-fast internet, a more inclusive digital world and a smaller environmental footprint. But what would this mean for you? It's a good question. For consumers, it means a vibrant digital single market and high-speed internet access. It will mean a much better selection of content and services to choose from. And when you want to buy something online, it will actually be possible. It will be efficient and for a fair price. It will be easier to know your rights and easier to do something if you are ripped off. Workers need the right skills for the digital area. And ICT professionals deserve recognition for their higher skills. We are going to tap into the need for much higher levels of skills in the future. If you are a patient or a doctor or a carrier, you will benefit from ICT making healthcare more sustainable. Online medical consultations, portable devices and much more will help save you time, help you maintain an independent life and keep your tax bill down. Businesses stand to gain greatly from maximizing the potential of ICTs. Investing in ICTs is the best way to boost productivity and we need to show leadership to get rid of the obstacles stopping effective use of ICTs. Small businesses in particular will benefit if we complete the single European payment area, the SEPA, meaning much easier electronic payments and invoicing across national borders based on safe and efficient payment methods. Where we can get rid of red tape, help to open up new markets and ensure that systems can talk to each other, we will. The list could go on forever, but together we can use the framework of the digital agenda for Europe to get every European digital. Whether you are an artist, a researcher, an online shopper or a grandmother, getting in touch with your family, online there is something in this action planned for you. Now we need support at local, city, regional, national and European levels to deliver this vision. Public and private, young and old, from Stockholm to Seville, we need your involvement to deliver these 100 key actions and the 31 pieces of legislation that will enable them. Let's take the decision to use those changes to boost European growth, to boost jobs and the well-being of our citizens. Please join with me in getting every European digital.